hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to learn how to create this 3d kind of cool looking text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Now let's start with creating a new composition which we named as main animation. Width is 1920, height 1080, frame rate 30, duration is 30 seconds and background color I will choose solid black and hit OK. Choose grid and guide option and hit title safe action. The first thing we will do we will create our main text so I will go over here. For the text color I will choose white color, I will increase the font size. And for the font, you are free to choose any font. I'll choose someone around like this font. And let's call it as Max. Hit Ctrl A to select that text. And I'll choose this option over here, which is for italic version of any font. After that, select this font and press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Now go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Now press S for scaling option and scale it at appropriate size. Now after that convert that layer into 3D. After the conversion we will get some option over here. As we can see we will click over here. Now most of the time by default it is on classic version. So if it is on classic version convert it into a cinema 4D and hit OK. Due to that we will get some material options over here and we will get some geometry options over here. But we will deal with that later. Before that hit Ctrl D over here and I'll uncheck this 3D option. I'll hide this one for now. Now choose this text. Go to the character menu again and I'll delete this fill. And the only thing I want over here is simple stroke. And the stroke width I'll choose 2% pixels sorry. Now select this text. Right click go to create and shape from text. And I'll delete this layer. As we can see we are getting one strokes over here. Now we will go to the add menu and we will add trim path option. Now go to the trim path one, end size I will choose 80, alt click on this offset and apply time into 50. If we hit play we will get this kind of animation. Now convert this layer into 3D. Now we will enable our main text layer and we will hide this one for now. Now hit ctrl D 3 times let's say and I'll hide this one for now two times sorry these are some extra layers if we change something that we don't want now go to this layer we don't need all of them the only thing we need is this geometry option and in active camera I'll choose left one now after that we have three options over here we have to deal with this extrusion depth and I'll make it 20 after that I will select this one, I will go to this geometry options, I will make it 60, I will go over here, geometry options, I will make it 30. Now after that we will choose our selection tool, I will drag it up to here or maybe here, so to make it 30. I will drag it over here. Select the second one. Move it something over here. Select this one. And move it over here. Yeah, this one looks good to me. Now go to the active camera. We are getting something like this. Now after that, we will choose this layer. Drag it to the top. Then second one should be here, and third one should be here. Now after that, select the first one. Instead of white color, I will choose blue color like this. For the middle one, I will choose darker version of this blue. So I will choose this picker and I will choose the darker version of blue like this. Select the last one. Let's keep it as it is. Now again go to the left one. Choose this middle one. Hit Ctrl D. Drag it at the bottom and I will move that over here like this for the color i'll choose something like this 
again hit control D select this last one drag it over here I'll choose color white if I go to the active camera you will get this kind of things let's say instead of white I will choose darker version of blue again like this now after that enable our this first outline layer go to the again left view I'll drag it a little bit over here choose active camera now if we hit play we will get this kind of animation go to the quarter one yeah select all of them press ctrl shift c i'll call it as text animation hit ok double click on it go inside over here right click new and call it, let's call it as null object make it 3d select all of them and make it a parent with this null open now select this null one press r for rotation as you can see we will rotate it on any axis on y axis i will make it 20 initially and i will create one keyframe at the start up to 2 seconds i will make it as minus 20 at 4 seconds i will copy the first one like this now select this layer hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph editor by holding shift i will drag those handles over here and this one over here and if we hit play you will get this smooth rotation over here like this yeah now you will hit ctrl n i will call it as fractal and hit ok now press ctrl y i will call it as fractal Now go to the effect and presets panel and apply fractal noise effect on it. Just like this. Increase the contrast up to 200. Decrease the brightness up to not plus 50 but minus 50. Increase the contrast like this. Now go to the transform. Unlink this uniform scaling. Increase the scale width up to 3500 decrease the height up to 20 yeah like this or let's say 10 now create one keyframe of sub turbulent over here hit u up to 10 seconds and move this over here like this if we hit play we will get this kind of animation yeah now after that we will click alt click on this evolution tab and apply time into 100 so we will have some evolution animation now select this fractal layer press r for rotation and rotate it on 45 degrees or let's say minus 45 degrees now right click new create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and apply cc lens effect on it like this and increase the size like this yeah now create another adjustment layer not over here but we will go to the main animation hit ctrl 0 and we will drag our fractal layer over here and we will apply tint effect on it as you can see because of tint we can swap our colors i choose full resolution over here and instead of black with the help of picker i will choose this color like this and with the help of that i will choose some lighter version of this blue color like this or we can choose darker version of blue like this you are free to choose any color combination you want i will choose this one press s for scaling option and scale the size the way you want now choose color i will hide this one for now if we hit play we will get this kind of animation 
yeah now we don't want this one over here so i'll hit ctrl x double click over here and hit ctrl v so it will drag it in our main uh, text animation at you i'll drag this fractal layer over here and i'll convert that one into 3d now hit you up to here let's say I'll press r for rotation i will rotate it on this axis and drag it over here now press s for scaling option and scale it a little bit and also make it apparent with this null one so you will get this kind of rotation animation over here also now we will go to the top menu and so over here press r for rotation we will rotate it on this axis and we will drag behind it like this go to the active camera now press s for scaling option and scale it up to this just like this now if we see over here we need to increase the scale little bit just like this so we will get this kind of 3d look over here just like this now after that we will hit ctrl d over here for this null one we will select this one and this one and press ctrl shift c i'll call it as text and hit ok we will select this one and this one and press ctrl shift c but before that select this fractal and make it apparent with this null now after that select both of them press ctrl shift c and call it as let's call it as bg and drag it over here now select this text go to the effect and presets panel and apply drop shadow effect on it i will increase the softness just like this now if i hit play we will get this kind of 3d effect over here just like this now select this text go to the effect and presets panel and apply transform effect on it and you can increase this Q if you want I will make it minus 8 if we will play now we will get this kind of animation now create one null object select both of them make it parent with this null too select this null press P for position I will click on this position apply wiggle effect on it 2 comma 2 just like this if you want to increase this one thing so you can make it as 5 comma 5 so we will get some wiggly effect over here hit end Yeah, so this is our final animation. So that is BG, press S for scaling option and scale it a little bit. If you see in full resolution, we will get this kind of results. If you want to change the colors, go inside the text, select this thing, go to the effect and presets panel, check out which layer it is and simply change the color if you want something like that and if we go to the text animation we will get this kind of change in our color so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon for more updates and if you want to watch after effect tutorials in hindi then please consider to visit my another channel called ag animations link will be available in the description until then stay tuned